Hi, welcome to the Woodside Cemetery. Let me come show you a couple of the more interesting gravestones here. Come. It's kind of a lonely uh, graveyard. Not a whole lot around as you look. But if these graves could talk, I bet they'd tell some interesting stories. As we approach this particular headstone, notice that it's carved of uh, local sandstone. It would weigh about four tons if anyone tried to pick it up and uh, it's got a very unique shape. Um, this is John Presset's headstone and he was one of the founding uh, people of the town of Woodside and his children preceded him in death. Or each one of the limbs on, each, on the side of the trunk represent one of his children. You can see them on each side and it, just like the town of Woodside he had hopes and dreams for his two children and perhaps you would have a hope and a dream for what you could do with this property. Amongst the unmarked wooden graves, there's one that stands out over here. Peter Peterson was apparently in the uh, Utah militia and passed away during an Indian war in 1925. If you notice his date of birth was 1848, that puts him at about 77 years old while fighting in an Indian war. What a story. Let's go look at the rest of the town. We're here by what used to be the billboard advertising the geyser in the town of Woodside. As you can see for its time, 50, 60 years ago, this was quite the site, quite the tourist trap almost along Highway 6 or along the old windy highway. One of the many gas stations that's, that uh, spotted along the highway back when, uh, back when going for a Sunday drive was the norm. One of the things that led to the further demise of the town of Woodside is they rerouted the highway and designated as a scenic byway, taking away the billboards advertising the towns and the route directly past the billboard. Huh. So picture 60 years ago, cars barreling up and down the old highway here. You can see the billboard. You'd stop off with your family, grab a soda pop, and sit here on one of these benches just like this. This may even have been one of the original benches. And you'd watch the geyser go off for a small fee. I think they charged a couple dollars to watch it go off. Would have been a great attraction 60 years ago. Could be a great attraction again someday. Something to think about. Well, hello there. I'm sitting on this bench. Might even be one of the original benches when the geyser was active. Cars would be barreling up and down the old Highway 6 there. You can see the bridge off in the distance, perhaps. And uh, the geyser would go off about once an hour back in, its, back in its heyday. It's since been vandalized and dried up. It wouldn't take much but a drilling rig, a couple hours to uh, bring it back to its original glory. Maybe that's an opportunity that would interest you. One of the interesting things when the pioneers were crossing across through Utah is rivers caused quite the, uh, the, the delay. There wasn't a bridge structure like this that's on the old highway. They had to cross it when they found a shallow spot, so sometimes they'd have to wander for days finding where that spot might be. Another interesting little known fact about the town of Woodside is uh, the town of Woodside was actually washed away with flash floods in the past. The, prior to there being a dam built, a flash flood would just gain further momentum and further momentum until it got to the flatland out here near Woodside. So a lot of the town of Woodside actually got washed away in flash floods many years past. Right now it looks like a docile river, but during a rainstorm this can really turn into a raging torrent. Um, this structure was built as part of the old highway that connected Spanish Fork to the Green River area. Let's go head into the town of Woodside. Alright, we're here in the town of Woodside proper again. 
at the old service station. If you notice the price of gasoline, $1.99 a gallon. It hasn't been that price for a good seven to 10 years. That's about the last time that a car is pulled through this service station. If you look here to the south, you've got the old piece of Americana with the fuel entrance sign right along Highway 6. If the owners were only selling that, I could have sold that sign about 15 times. That's about how many calls I've had for just that sign. But if you walk over here towards the service station, you notice that uh, for its time, it had four pumps. That was actually a pretty busy station back in the day. An interesting little known fact about Woodside, it had its own zip code at a time. So for a short period of time, the US government recognized this as enough of a business place to have a, uh, its own zip code. Come take a look inside at the old sign showing where the post office was. You see it right inside here. So our hope is you can find a way to bring a zip code back to Woodside, Utah. So, could Woodside be a truck stop again? You tell me. The town's not even open, the station's not even open, there's a truck parked in front and it happens all day long. Woodside, your opportunity. Find ourselves on the east side of the highway. We're going to look at some of the old homes of the town of Woodside. At one time, this was nothing more than uh, just a small ranching community. It actually got its name because of all the cottonwoods that grow here along the river. The cottonwoods, hence Woodside. And uh, that, that drew the ranchers here because they knew that there was fertile soil if the cottonwoods would grow. So they set up a town here and you can see some of the old corrals and some of the old buildings. We'll take a look here in just a minute. We're here at some of the uh, corrals, chicken coops and the uh, former, uh, where some of the home sites were in the town of Woodside. Must have been a rough way of life back then. Certainly remote. And perhaps that's just what you're looking for. For more information on how to make the town of Woodside your possibility, your dream, call the Mike Metzger team at 435-820-6469, 435-820-6469, the Mike Metzger team with Bridge Realty.